With the upcoming staging of the 2024 Jamaica Athletics Invitational just around the corner, prominent faces in the track and field world gathered yesterday at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel for a press conference before the highly anticipated event. Athletes such as Christian Coleman, Dina Asha Smith, Fred Curley, Matthew Odzo Smith, Marie Jose Talou, Russell Clayton, and Kieran McMaster fielded questions from journalists. How are you looking forward to that rematch? <laughs> uh, so I'll answer the second question. <laughs> um, as soon as my agent told me about this meet, I told him, yeah, book it. So, I was very excited just because, again, I had roots in Jamaica. I wanted the food and yeah, I get my rematch. So that's something I'm very much looking forward to. Um, and to talk about Budapest as well, um, I mean, you saw the race, I thought I had it and then my calf went at the 120 mark, so I was literally just scraping for the line really, and I was just happy with the medal, and it was like a catch-22 really, I mean, I had the medal in my hand, I was counting the money in my head when I, was <laughs> when I came to the line, yeah, and then literally, man. I've been so excited to run this race because when I first saw my schedule for the year, it wasn't on it. And I was just like, you know what, maybe next year. Then I got a revision in my inbox and I saw Jamaica Invitational and I text Coach Flo like, is this happening? He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. But um, I wanted to, I'm one of those people that I do one step at a time. So even though I've been excited for like months and it's been in the pipeline for a very long time, I was like, right, let me finish Texas Relays, Mount Sag, the other one I had at Texas. And then I came. That the current couple of sprinters could challenge Usain Bolt's world record, which as of yesterday is the longest standing 100 meter world record ever. Um, are you still standing by that? Because there's nobody right now who's running who's consistently 97, let alone 950. Yeah? I really mean to be controversial. <laughs> they asked me a question. That's what I was going to say. Like, and I mean, it was it just, to me, I don't feel like you should do anything if you don't feel like you can be the best at it. You know, like I think that anything that you put your mind to, you got to believe it before you actually get out there and do it. And I think that a lot of your fans sometimes, they put a lot of emphasis on just times and times and times. And that ain't really how I grew up, you know. It's just, hey, let's line up and go light pole to light pole. Let's, let's see who's the best. And I mean, I've, I've been a part of, you know, the older generation where I, you know, compete against those guys. And I mean, you know, I'm not going to compete until today. And I, I don't feel like I take a back seat to anybody. In the 100 meters, but yeah, I am looking forward to mostly run in front of a Jamaica public, you know. I want to feel the atmosphere because Every time that I'm watching the competition from Jamaica, I see all the crowd is here, they're encouraging all the athletes. And I know Jamaica is a track and field, uh, you know, country, not like us, where it's football. So I will feel the love, I will feel the support, and you know, I feel the energy. Now I'm going to do the 200. Yeah. Okay. We are looking forward to competing this weekend. I'm very looking forward to competing this weekend. Hey, that's what we do best. So we out there having fun and competing. That's what. We're it's all about competing. And in terms of your preparation coming into this year, what the preparation like for you coming into I even like this into me? Uh, we all get prepared for the big game, so they peak at the right time. It's really good. Like the main thing for me is just is just staying healthy, and I feel good right now. I mean, a little hiccups here and there, but nothing that stopped me from training. Nothing that stopped me from actually getting out on the track every day and doing what I need to do. Is just little things that I feel like I have to just keep working on but those are my challenges but I feel as if like overall I'm, I'm healthy and as far as like um like fitness wise I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've, I've been in like right now it's just mental like actually getting out there on race day and not holding back anything but just allowing my body to just do what I know is capable of doing so I feel fit I feel ready like mentally physically I feel like I'm I'm as, as good as I've ever been <laughs> to return to the 400 meters. If I run the 400 right now, I disrespect the 400 field. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> 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 
Wait, 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 We've been waiting for this 40 team for how many years? Yeah. Woo! So, but you got yeah, you have yeah, yeah. 43 though. Yeah, well, well, you got to touch 43. Yeah, well, well, Later, bro. Come on, let's take it. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. All right, wait. Do it. Here. Everybody here. Right here. You go do it. You go, Carl. The Jamaica Athletics Invitational is set to take place tomorrow, Saturday, May 11th at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. Viewers and subscribers, stay tuned to TSE Exclusive as we will be bringing you all the happenings and updates come tomorrow.